The Dublin Port Commission Starboard Home from the National Concert Hall. It's part of a series of initiatives that we've undertaken in recent years to try to remake a link between the port and the city. So Starboard Home is one of a series of initiatives that we're trying to, to open up the port to people in a way that, that uh, will, will mirror the connection they used to have in the past and hope we will re-strengthen that bond and will give us, metaphorically, our license to operate and indeed our, our license to grow. It's a legacy piece, so we hope that it, there is you know, that people see it as a legacy, that, that it's something that we're giving to the people and to the country as part of our commemorations, our 2016-1916 commemorations. Sure in the shallows, tired of the conflict, tired we gave them a very broad brief. The brief simply was Port, City, River. That's simple. And asked them to commission some works around that theme and Starboard Home is what has emerged. The more we talked about it, we kind of realised Actually, if we're going to do something significant, why not commission songs? We've got a, such a great tradition of songwriting across all the various idioms in Ireland. We thought, let's write some new songs about the port. So we thought we'd take a kind of contemporary take on that and ask some leading Irish artists to do new songs about the port. It's, it's been a wonderful thing to have such a sort of evocative subject matter to write about. Um, the port and the river and their place in, in our city. I suppose what we wanted to do is sort of reinforce or um, rekindle the bond between the city and the port. It feels like that's what it's doing, that there is there is a sort of overarching feel to the to the record, to the to the songs as a group. What they have produced is, I, I think, it's, it's it's quite extraordinary. Uh, they've responded to the brief in a way that that we could only have dreamt of. They really have grabbed the subject matter, and they have made so many linkages in ways that, that we couldn't have done otherwise. All of them at the top of their game. Paul Noonan opens the album with, with, with Steel Ballet and it's, it's quintessential Paul Noonan type piece. It's, it's quirky in, in the Noonan type way. He, he, he just nails a couple of realities of, 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 of trade. Finishes up then with, with John Sheehan with the most beautiful poem about the Liffey and some, some lovely fiddle playing on, on a tune he wrote. First of all, I think it's a, an honour for any Dubliner to be asked to write something about the Liffey because it's been so much a part of our lives, you know. The, the, the artery, the main artery to the, to the city of Dublin. Some of the early memories would have been uh, going off to gigs in Liverpool with, with the boys, Ronnie and Luke and Kieran and Barney, and walking down through the docks onto, onto the boat. And um, the, the feeling of, of homecoming on, on, on the way back and seeing the various spires of the churches of Dublin and making them out as, as, as the boat came back into the, the docks again. It's us saying to the to the to the people uh, locally and within the city, look, you know, we, the port company here today recognise, you know, the legacy that you've left behind. I mean, all of the the ex dock workers that have gone, retired, and, and passed away, and and the legacy that they've left behind is part of these songs. So all the hard work that those guys put in over them years is part of what this whole concert and this song series is about, or the song cycle is about. It's about their history, but it's also about today and how 
far we've come within that whole 100 years of, of since six, 1916. Having sort of visited the port more recently for this project and you know being in a band coming in and out of it quite a bit over the years, you see the world in, in widescreen a little more. There's a cinematic quality to that coming and going, um, which is you know it's, it's been fertile uh, ground for for songwriting for you know, forever. So. Hopefully this will add to that canon of songs. I think what the artists have tapped into are timeless themes of the port, the city and the Liffey. And they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. And I think likewise the pieces they've produced will stand the test of time.